Ciao, everyone. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. And today, my friend, is part eight of Scarred But Not Broken. He may have scarred me, and I do have many scars in my life. Believe you me, I have many scars in my life. But I am not broken. Don't let them break your spirit on the inside. They are not worth it, okay? So, part eight, incredible. And this has to do with my friends. My friends, when I was married and in this bad relationship, and just as I was getting out of this bad relationship, I had friends, and generally the friends that I had were our friends together, not really just my friends but they were considered our friends and basically they were the people in the community that we had lived in and the people in this community went to a church in the community we are all very social in the church and it is a beautiful place to live it was a, a beautiful area and the people in the church they seemed very nice and very good people even the pastor and when you um, start to tell people about your relationship with your husband or I was I was uh, sharing my relationship with the pastor of the church at the time and really looking for some advice looking for some help because there's no helping him okay after I had left that you realized that when your life is with a narcissist or when you are married to a narcissist, a drug addict, an alcoholic, he was all the, all the above. He, um, he doesn't want help. And no matter who helps him, whether it was the AAA or whether it was all these addiction anonymous groups, all the doctors that tried to help him, even including the pastor of the church, tried to help him, he didn't want help. So the help was never going to come from me, even though I offered to help. I tried my best to help. I tried my best to stay in that relationship. And I did for seven years. And that seven, that seven years, that was enough for me. I'll, I can't do that anymore. And if you think about spending your whole life in this relationship, a whole rest of your lifetime, my friend, in this kind of relationship i couldn't imagine a future so even with him trying to kill me there was no future there for me so if you're in the same situation realize the future because it's not worth it get out get help and get out but anyway back to my friends that i had at the time i i asked the pastor what i should do I told him about the relationship and how that I wanted to leave, how I wanted to apply for a divorce and get out. And actually, don't be surprised. They're of no help. Um, unfortunately, I will tell you, all of the friends I had in the church, including the pastor of the church, they were really no help in this particular situation. I understand it's biblical, you should not be divorced and you you shouldn't be in, you know, a relationship like that, but you can't live in a relationship that's abusive, you can't live in a relationship that's physically and mentally abusive. It's not even biblical, okay? So anyway, <clears throat> I left against the will of my pastor and also the advice of my friends which was surprising and even though i asked for help from my friends there was no one that would stand up and help me there was no one that supported me and i was shocked by this even my friends that i considered my friends in the church and that i had good relationships with they were of no help to me. They were of no support to me, but my family, my family stood by me. My brother and my sister-in-law stood by me. And don't be surprised. Some of your family will be against you also. 
I have um, many brothers. I have a sister and one brother and my sister-in-law helped me a lot immensely and I owe a great deal of gratitude and love and appreciation for them. But I have other brothers and one in particular didn't stand up for me. He, he, but I won't go into family problems on here, but my parents, they did help a lot. So find a support group. I went to counseling, like I said in a previous video, I went to counseling, I saw a counselor, they helped me mentally and uh, physically recover from all of this, but find your own support group out of your friends, because don't rely on friends to help you, they won't. And maybe they just don't know how to help, but you know, friends in the area would always encourage me to go back rekindle that relationship go back and in my mind i could only think about oh my goodness if i go back there i'm a dead girl okay i would never get out the second time i would i wouldn't live through another incident in that house okay i i would have been a dead girl walking so there was no point in my mind thinking i'm going to go back what after i get out but um find your own support group my friends Find your own that's for you, all, all for you, that will support you mentally and support you in any way that you need. They will encourage you. And that's my best advice after you get out. But the good news is once you're out of this relationship, you will have a life. You will be alive. You will feel happy and you will feel free. And this feeling I don't know how to explain it is very liberating and you will you will find yourself you will create a life for yourself you will be free of all that mental abuse all the verbal abuse all the physical abuse like I said before that I think the verbal abuse was probably the worst part that I lived through and even now you know the fight-or-flight experience um, is there and it still will remain there at times and i can feel the nervousness and that coming up once in a while but not like it used to but you will get over all of it you will be happy you will find your own way and you know the future holds many things for you currently i am married to a wonderful man which will be in my next story so i found somebody that's wonderful and he completely supports me and I love him immensely okay I wouldn't change my life for anything now but there is a future so don't think when you're leaving that you have no future no one will love you you won't you know you won't make it on your own sure you will sure you will I did it my friends and so can you so that's my point if you're in this kind of a relationship with a narcissist, a, a drug addict, an alcoholic, find your way out because the future is bright. It's all for you, my friends. So the next video, I will tell you all about meeting my husband and leaving the country. Yes, I left and I was very happy to leave and how my life began anew. So my friends, enjoy today. Have a great day and I will see you all soon. Ciao everyone. Bye.